Hey guys, Becca C. Smith here, and I'm going to talk today about anxiety. Now, as creative people, as anybody really, everyone has anxiety to a certain degree. I've never met a single person on this planet that doesn't have some form of anxiety at some point in their life. Creative people tend to have it a little bit more intensely, I've noticed, maybe, just because, maybe it's because we have overactive imaginations and <laughs> we just imagine the worst thing possible and then it goes straight to our brain and then our body just reacts. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's just that I know more creative people in my life. Probably more the case. But millions of people have anxiety. I have very high anxiety. I, I've mentioned this before in a past vlog where I had a panic attack that lasted four months. I know that sounds hard to imagine. Basically in my mind felt like it was in that fight or flight mode non-stop so I had insomnia I when I was awake every time I sat down or tried to relax I'd, oof, I had to stand up immediately and I just constantly felt like I had to move my heart rate was high I was losing weight um, and I didn't really know how to get out of it and I mentioned this before like I said I, I ended up going to see a therapist and she told me a couple tricks and <laughs> basically in two sessions got me out of the panic attack and God, I wish I would have gone to her from the beginning. But, you know, sometimes it's when you're at your lowest of lows that you finally admit that you need outside help. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys six things that I do that get me out of a panic attack. The number one thing that I do to get out of it immediately, because for me it's usually breathing. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, even though I'm totally breathing, but my brain is telling me I can't breathe is that I do a five count or sometimes three count breathing. You may be aware of this already, but basically what it is, is that you breathe in for five counts, you hold it for five counts, you breathe out for five counts, you hold it for five counts, and repeat, repeat. Sometimes if it's like a, a pre-panic attack, <laughs> like I can feel one coming, but it's not quite there, I can do a three count basically gets you out of that headspace uh, so you feel like you can breathe again. The thing about breathing is that it's something you don't control. So by controlling your breathing, it makes you feel even maybe subconsciously that you are taking control back of your breathing and that can help you jolt out of that mind frame and then realize, oh, I can breathe. So that's the first thing that I do. Number two, this one's great. When you're having a panic attack and you feel like you can't breathe, you, you don't even realize it, but your chest muscles are tightening. Everything's tightening because you just, it's, you know, tension. So you're, everything is clenched. And the quickest way to relax muscles, to unclench them, is to use heat. This is a, for neck, <laughs> uh, you put it in the microwave for like two minutes. By doing something that you can warm up in the microwave, it, it cools down in about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So I feel like that's a, that's a good enough time for me. So what I'll do is I'll heat this up and I'll just put it on my chest like this. And immediately, it's like air completely comes back into my lungs because it's just relaxing that muscle that's, that's being clenched. This is the number one thing that I do that will get me out of it 99% of the time is just heat it up, stick it on my chest, and breathe. I'm telling you, this is the magic trick. I, I will never part with this. It has saved my life. I love it. Number three, another way to sort of get out of it quickly is to just do what your body naturally wants to do, which is get up and move. So basically just walk. You know, if you have to walk into your within your apartment, if you have to walk in the hallway outside, if you can walk outside, outside, just walk. Get it out. It helps your heart rate, it helps everything. It just instantly kind of sets you into that mode and sometimes double up, walk and do the breathing exercises. I do that a lot actually when I'm trying to break out of it. I will do my five count breathing while I'm walking. 
this this helps immensely number four is tea tea help i know it sounds weird but herbal tea can really help you immediately get out of that mode i use chamomile it's calming but peppermint fennel seed anything that's sort of a calming tea helps trust me can't tell you how many cups of chamomile tea i've taken <laughs> but it it really works it really does calm you down and sometimes that's all you need is just a little bit of calming nice natural easy way to calm yourself down and the last two are more something that you should do every day that will help anxiety in general one is to take magnesium you can get it in your food which is great which is a lot of basically spinach leafy greens dark chocolate so that's a good one an excuse to have dark chocolate almonds avocados all these things are really high in magnesium so you can get it through your food which i do but i also take a supplement magnesium has been found to greatly reduce anxiety it has helped my anxiety a lot and number six is exercise and i know everybody hates exercise i exercise every day it really does regulate my anxiety just sort of getting out all that excess energy and it just it really can help immensely to keep your anxiety levels low so those are my six tips that i do i hope they help but the heating pad one i swear to god that saved my life it's just anxiety is something that we all have to deal with some of us have it more than others if you do have high anxiety like me i know it's really hard sometimes sometimes i just feel like bawling my eyes out because it's just like why why but you know it kind of comes with the territory it's like like i said i think a lot of really highly anxious people are creative people and so it's a blessing and a curse you get this insane overactive imagination but that overactive imagination makes you go a little nutty sometimes and makes you panic such is life but these are the things that i've done to help me through it hope they help you i know this isn't really a writing vlog but i just felt like i should share and let me know in the comments what you guys do to battle anxiety i would love to learn new the, the more new tricks the better <laughs> i can use them trust me so let me know what you do and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later bye